This is a short video on um, how to set up uh, the Sage um, grinder uh, to the Sage Bambino Espresso Maker. Um, I've played around with the settings and uh, I think I found a bit of a sweet spot uh, with, res with regards to grind size and um, the time that it grinds for. So uh, I'll bring you over here. So this is the the grinder. Um, I don't actually know if you can see the display there, um, but what I found is uh, the optimum sort of settings for this to suit this uh, is a grind size of 15. And obviously if you're watching this, you've probably already got one of these, so you know you adjust uh, the grind size on the side there. So I set that to 15. I found I actually found that um, sort of 14, uh, it was a little bit too fine uh, and it restricted the flow of the, um, the the flow of the water coming through the coffee um, and it, it wasn't a decent size espresso basically so it was a little bit restricted and vice versa I actually did 16 and uh, found that the crema was a bit weak so uh, I think I found the sweet spot which is 15 uh, and this is the one I've been using uh, ever since I set the settings and, and actually I'm extremely pleased with the coffee it produces. Um, and the other one is, is grind time. So I've got this on two shots. I always have two shots. I don't, um, I don't make one shot coffees. I always do a two, um, mainly because I find that the Bambino, the, the double shot tends to be, or even the single shot there, they seem to be a little bit under what a standard espresso shot size is. So I was, I was kind of hoping the double shot should be about 60 mil, but actually, um, I probably scraped through 50. Um, so I always go with a double shot when I have a coffee. Uh, and then I just set this to double shot on here. Um, so at least gives me the option. I can have a single shot if I want to, if I want to have that setting. And then the grind time, then this is the bit that I faffed around with for quite a while. Um, and I have found that the, the best grind time um, for the size of porter filter that comes with this, which is this one here, um, is actually way down at 13.4 seconds, um, which is there. And that there, uh, when you press and hold that, that'll actually save it. All right, so that's uh, that's the the settings that I, that I think is <laughs> suitable for my machine anyway, but I think if you've bought this and this, you'll probably find the settings are about the same. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is actually after I've made a coffee um, and this was using the settings that I've just uh, shown you there. Um, and this is what it looks like after I've used the coffee. And as you can see, it's got a nice depth below the actual surface. So what I've done here, I've actually knocked, um, I've knocked the uh, uh, cake, I guess, or the puck out of the, uh, porter filter and it's come out in one now in my opinion this is a, a sort of um a good way to tell whether you've got your grind right and whether you've got your technique in uh, tamping it down correctly um because if you haven't this would split in half this would um it would have cavities in it or it wouldn't be so stuck together because of the coarse grind but actually this is really well cake together um yeah and it's a very it's 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 very good it gives a nice even flow so for that i i use those settings grind time of 13.4 seconds for a double shot and the grind size is always 15 and that is uh, for the bambino uh, plus i think it is